Okay, here we are in Everglade City. This is, or was, the Welcome to Everglade City sign. It blew away. This is about five weeks after Hurricane Irma ro roared through. All right, it's recording. All these appliances on the side of the road from storm surge, all the flooding and so forth. But some places are open. Those motorcycles were uh, where we just ate lunch. See the debris? Airboat businesses. Seafood markets, restaurants, they're open for business. A lot of airboats uh, giving rides. There's our lunch spot. City seafood restaurant and market. But there's just debris all over this town. They've gotten it out of their yards and cleaned out their houses. But uh, it looks like a dump. Looks like East Chattanooga when it's clean. The storm surge must have gotten in all these houses because all the appliances are out. A lot of them are vacant. They've got uh, signs on the door, probably un uh, unfit for habitation and condemned. Two weeks ago when I was down, the local news said that 82% of all the structures in this town, Everglades City, were uninhabitable. still don't have all the stop signs put back up yet you see a lot of travel trailers next to houses I guess people are living in because little houses are gutted and vacant see there's all the drywall that came out of it appliances this was a cute little area a lot of neat little old houses through here and they'll come back once they get them redone but uh, it's just debris and junk everywhere. Now this is weird. Some houses, like the newer ones, like that one there, is, looks completely untouched. But then, these older ones, uh, some of them got some pretty bad damage. I mean, look at all the junk. Here's something interesting. This is, uh, let me pull around there to the front. That's City Hall. There's the City Hall building. It looks okay, but those are mail trucks up there in front of it, like food trucks, but for mail. That's where everybody's got to go to get their, uh, let's see if I can zoom in on it. Find the right button here on my phone. That's where you go to get, that guy's getting his mail, I guess. place is familiar to, I used to have the I think the gorilla out front that said free ape food or ape food sold here the skunk ape the church did okay there's the mail trucks in front of the uh, city hall look like maybe FEMA contractors lined up here That looks like some sort of a staging area. Back in there, there's a bunch of uh, stacks of stuff, probably bottled water sent from all over the country. Anytime there's a disaster like this, mountains of bottled water comes. If they didn't get blown away by the hurricane, they get they drown in bottled water. Every roof and uh, and that complex has got blue FEMA tarps over it. Looks like somebody sold them blue sheet metal roofing. That's all. That's all, must, all their shingles must have come out, come off. There's a structure, the aluminum thing that turned over. Closed business there. Hardware store. 
This I think is a makeshift dump right here in the middle of town. Circle K is still closed, the gas station. It's the fishing industry, crabbing. Looks like they're st still around. I've eaten lunch here before. It was okay. Service was really slow. That was uh, a year or two ago. I like the place we ate today better. There's a school on this side. Looks like it's undamaged for the most part. A lot of docks here are ripped up and twisted and everything. What we've been seeing overall, the structures held up fairly well. Uh, I think most of the damage was flood damage and, and tree damage and so forth. Uh, the storm surge, all these must have just been underwater or, you know, water gotten in there. Because most of these old houses, they actually, you know, most of them are still standing. There's uh, some of the old mobile homes are gone. Uh, there's the rod and gun club that's old that's uh, other than all the debris it seemed to held up uh, held up pretty well I'm trying to shoot this while driving the old bank of the Everglades building it's still there it held up. That's back looking over at the city hall again. That way. There's a house over there that looks perfect other than one tree down. That's a newer house. That house burned. I'm sure that's hurricane related. And there's big hurricanes and stuff. There's fires that start all the wind and the arcing power I, I'm assuming it's hurricane related it looks recent that Hatteras that stays down here looks untouched so I'm guessing they pulled it out of here or moved it somewhere else before the storm came this was an RV park 20 years ago I stayed here with my dad and his RV buddies with the, the Ginus and everything they since brought in all these park models and they've got a lot of destruction in here. Look at all the debris. They had some get wiped out in there too. Big pile of aluminum over there. That's going to be your next beer can. Fisherman's Cove is the name of it, this place. Yeah. The observation st uh, tower stayed up. It's been there for 30 some years. Didn't figure that would go anywhere anyhow. All right, well there's sort of a drive-by tour of uh, Everglades City destruction and Hurricane Irma aftermath. It won't take long, probably six months from now, you won't be able to see much damage, I don't think. They're, they're on their way. Uh, they're on their way back. We're gonna get eaten by a shark. Alrighty.